Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, August 20th, 2014. Let's jump right into the charts. It is also the first day of the Federal Reserve and the Central Bank meeting that is taking place in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So please be aware of that. Janet Yellen will be speaking on Friday, but uh, their official meeting kicks off today in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. This is where all the central bankers around the world get together and they set interest rate policy and monetary policy uh, going forward. So um, that meeting is beginning today. That is in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It will continue throughout the weekend. Janet Yellen will be speaking on Friday. So we'll see uh, what that does for the market. But Right now, the stock market has tapered off of its morning highs. Futures right now are trading down about $1.50. But what I want to focus on today, and I want you to take a look at, is the dollar yen. So the dollar yen, uh, which is still trading higher by 30 cents, has pulled off of its highs as well. If the dollar yen continues to go higher, there's no doubt in my mind the stock market will go higher. This is the carry trade that is fueling uh, all the, the liquidity into the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the NASDAQ, and also the Russell 2000. So if this uh, currency pair starts to taper off, meaning the Japanese yen strengthens against the dollar, generally money will come out of the uh, S&P 500. And you're seeing a very, very similar move right here. You can see right here how the S&P 500 e-mini futures have been tapering off of their morning highs. So again, keep that dollar yen chart uh, on watch and focus. Um, I know it's gotten a little bit higher than I had expected, but nonetheless, that can happen anytime there's Fed speak or anytime there's uh, a big economic data being released. And uh, right now, you do have the Federal Reserve and the rest of the central bankers around the world all getting together in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So, again, keep watch for that, and we'll see if anything comes out of there to move the markets. But in the meantime, we have the European markets down slightly today. Uh, but we have a lot of stocks in play, so let's get right into those. We're going to talk about LZB, which is Lazy Boy Chairs and Lazy Boy Furniture. What you're going to see here is stock is trading right now at $22.65. It closed at $23.22. Now, in the after hours yesterday, it was down quite a bit below uh, $22, and it has come back uh, with a little bit of a bounce. But um, we will have levels for this if it does break down below these lows. So come on over to the chat room. We'll look to play that today. We do have some solid levels for Lazy Boy, but the stock is getting hit a little bit this morning. Let's take a look at Hertz Rent-A-Car. Uh, Hertz right now has rebounded up a little bit also. The stock did trade below $25 uh, early early this morning. Has rebounded up a little bit. I'm going to have some solid levels for Hertz if it does come back down. So um, come over to the chat room. We'll have some levels there. We'll look to play this one. But Hertz closed at $31.56. So any way you slice it or dice it, it's, it's still a pretty big uh, gap down. But if it does go a little bit lower, we will have some levels to play this stock. Let's take a look at Whirlpool today. I'm not sure of the news here on Whirlpool, and I'm not even sure this is a right play, but the morning is showing us a potential gap down to 150. Um, there's no volume on it, so we're just not going to make too much out of it, but it did pop on my radar. Let's take a look at Target. Target reported earnings today. Again, they said they were hurt by that credit card breach. Either way, you slice it or dice it. Stock's only down a little bit. The stock still has a fair amount of support at around $54.50 if it got there. I don't expect it to get there. But if it did get there, that would be a place where you can pick target up. Other than that, I think it's going to chop around. Probably still holds the $57 level. That's what was tested this, this morning in the pre-market. So we'll keep that on our radar. But really, the best level for target today, $54.50 if it does get down there. Let's take a look at Lowe's. LOW is the ticker symbol. Lowe's reported earnings. Uh, the stock has been riding high. It is pulling back a little bit. Yesterday it closed at $51.52. Today it's trading at around $50.10. So a pretty good little gap down on Lowe's. The only level that I'm seeing today is around $47.10. Right in that vicinity, give a few pennies. That's where I like lows. I don't know if it'll trade down there. That's a long decline or a big decline, I should say. So if it does get there, I really like it there. If you're an aggressive trader, look at, you can look at $49.20. There could be a little bit of a bounce support level around that area, 49.20. But my best bet for today is going to be around 47.10. If it does get down there, pick up lows for a bounce. I think that would work out. Let's take a look at Haynes Celestial. 
This is the organic food maker. Stock right now is trading at $90.50. It closed at $87, uh, $86.93 yesterday. So good little pop up. This is on earnings as well. Um, the stock is getting a little bit overbought here. So I guess it could go as high as 91.60, 91.70. I'm not sure it will get there. But nonetheless, um, that's where I see some resistance. Uh, either way, the stock is a pretty strong gap up. So you really want to be careful on the fading side. This is one I would not really look to fade unless you got a real good topping signal. But a nice little pop up on Haines Celestial. Let's take a look at Avis Budget. <clears throat> And what you're going to see here is that uh, this rental car is down in sympathy to Hertz. So this has been one of those stocks that have been flying high, but it's way, way overbought on every time frame, every metric. So again, let this pull back. I don't see a great level for this one. Around $62.80 is probably a pretty good uh, daily chart support level for an intraday bounce. So keep that on the radar, $62.80. Another level I have for uh, Davis budget would be around $58, maybe $57.95. Those are two levels I think you can see bounces today in the stock. But remember, this stock is getting hit today, basically in sympathy to the uh, move down in Hertz. So just keep that on the radar. Let's take a look at PetSmart. P-E-T-M is the ticker symbol here. Right now, the stock is trading higher. Uh, closed at $69.70 yesterday, but it is now trading at $71.55. The reason for the uptick here is that uh, the company is exploring a potential sale. Now, every time a stock, we've seen this with Rackspace, we've seen this with so many companies recently, every time their stock price is starting to um, flounder a little bit, they come up with this idea that they're going to put themselves up for sale and go private. Um, I'm not sure we can make too much out of it, but nonetheless, the stock is up. Um, I really don't see much upside here at all. So 71 50 to $72, really a lot of resistance. I wouldn't short it because uh, the news is favoring that the stock goes up. And if the, a deal does come out, yeah, the stock probably goes higher. But either way, um, I just don't look for much more upside. If you own the stock, I'd try your stop loss right here, right now. Let's take a look at AEO. And this is American Eagle Outfitters. Stock is gapping up nicely. Closed at $11.59. Now trading at $12.80. I'm going to say um, the maximum move, this stock has two resistance points that I see real cleanly. One is going to be $13.32. And the other one is going to be $14.17. Around $14.17, I, I would consider potentially shorting the stock. So again, um, those are the levels I'm coming up with today. 1332 is a pretty decent resistance point, but the stock might just stall at that level. But at 1417, $14.17. That could be a potential short today. So keep that on the radar. We'll see if it gets down to that level. I'm not sure it will. I mean, it gets up to that level. I'm not sure if it will, but we want to keep it on the radar. All right, let's take a look at the gold market today. Gold futures are trading higher by just 30 cents to $1,297 per ounce. Let's go to the GLD, see what that looks like. And what you'll see here is the GLD is trading right at $124.78, basically right where it closed yesterday. So gold continues to just put in a real choppy sideways pullback pattern, but I don't see anything terrible here for gold. Let's take a look at the um, oil market today. Crude futures are actually trading up a little bit. So let's take a look at the USO. USO right now is trading at around $34.79. It closed at $34.71. I honestly don't see much support here for the USO outside of an oversold condition. But I, what I will say is that um, right now it looks like the USO has a lot of support around $34, $34.05. That's the only level that I'm seeing at the moment. Other than that, I don't think there's a lot you can do with it. Let's go do a quick futures check. Futures are trading down about two dollars and fifty cents to nineteen hundred and seventy-four dollars and three quarters per contract. Again, um, little upticking. This is going to follow the dollar yen. Watch the dollar yen right now. If I pull that up, let's see what that looks like. Boom! And look at exactly the same thing. Dollar yen upticking. Futures upticking. That's exactly the way it is. So the market really following. That dollar yen almost tick for tick. I think later today we will have some economic data, I believe by the Federal Reserve at 2 o'clock. I think it's a beige book or 
Um, yeah, I think it's the Beige Book or, or Minutes or something like that. But uh, we will have some news at a 2 o'clock in the afternoon um, from the Federal Reserve. So we'll see if that does move markets as well. I'm not 100% sure it will. But uh, you do have the Jackson Hole Conference going on with all the central bankers. And that certainly can move markets as little bits and pieces and speeches are released out to the public. So just be aware of that, and uh, we'll see what the market gives us. Right now, the overall, the spiders are into a double top from July, so they're hitting a, a fair amount of resistance up here at this point. So to see a pullback or, or something of that nature today, you know, we can't rule that out. But, um, you know, we'll see where this winds up. Hopefully, uh, due to the light volume, we'll get some good activity in the morning time, and that's what you want to do uh, as a day trader. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we'll see you on the charts.